What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. So today I will be doing a review on a 2015 Ford Mustang GT. As you guys saw, I've already done one of these before, but it was an automatic. This time around, we're going to be doing it in a manual. We're going to see exactly how it is. I will be honest, I did test drive this before just so I can uh, get over my fear of the whole getting used to the manual driving. So this is the beauty we'll be doing today. This is really what I wanted to point out. I'm not sure if you guys could have noticed it, but in the blue Mustang that we test drove, you really couldn't enjoy the lines. And I love that this car is white, so you can kind of see everything. I just love these lines on this car. It's really one of my favorite things about the Mustang body. I just love everything about it. When it comes to these lines, you can see every every little detail with the white. The white's always nice. I've always been a big fan of white cars. The problem is, like we all know, it's pain in the butt to keep clean but I mean come on now how can you beat this thing and the good thing is though the sun's nice and bright today so you can actually catch the lines look at all the lines going down this car it screams like a European car I see what you're saying though it is like that European style it's real slick sport yeah it's a combination of the two now yeah it's a combo of muscle and I love the looks of it. All right, guys, so this is my buddy Dan. Dan, say hello to the hey. tubes. How's it going, guys? All right. So, right off the bat, keys in. Oh, it happens to clutch, right? So, something to learn. So, it's clutch first, right? Yep. So unlike other normal push start cars, you gotta push the clutch and make sure it's in neutral, right? You gotta push the clutch. Normally you press the brake, press the start button. I'm new to this, so there we go. So what made you pick this 2015? You know, obviously you bought it the year of, so yeah. it was brand new. But what made you decide to get the Mustang over any of the other models? Well, I've always, you know, loved the power of the Mustang. Didn't really like the looks or anything or the handling of them um but as far as the 2015 uh, this is 2016 but as far as the 2015 upgrade went they kind of took that power that they already always had and um kind of meshed it with uh the handling of some of you know the european competitors right. i should say so uh, i thought that was a good mix and it looks totally badass too it does you can't, you can't yeah. discount that either to this uh driving manual now yeah i definitely agree with you i love the body style of this car um it's arguably one of my favorite ones the new models have a different look the i noticed the headlights yeah, not, are like almost cut in half pretty much i'm not quite as sold on the new look I, I like this look i think better than the new one agreed there i totally agree there the the new one does have kind of like a i guess with uh that angled uh look to the bottom uh chin chin spoiler it looks a little almost too open i should right. say a little bit too uh fish-like you have to pile it on the bed oh oh, oh man i just stalled out right in the middle of the uh, yeah you're good oh. ah, i keep on stalling <laughs> out i'm trying you okay keep gas 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 ah. flip the clutch oh nope you get it ah. I keep on <laughs> stalling out in the middle of traffic. Okay. Don't, all right, don't all right. freak out. All right, got it. Okay. There we go. There you go. More gas. Gosh, I was stressing. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You freaked out a little bit. That's, I did. That's why you kept uh, well, missing. Well, was freaky with the guy behind me, and rightfully so. I was stuck in the middle of a light, so I'm yeah. a bad guy. Sorry for the glare, guys. Um, the, it's just uh, I, it's on every car my car's the same way i get a glare no, there's no way of getting out of it yeah even if you had tints on this window the glare still comes in i do love the clutch on this car um even though as you can see it's a little bit a learning curve um compared to the subaru i drove the one time as you guys saw it's very easy to drive as far as what the clutch goes with the mustang it's very long like a trombone pretty much so it's like i feel like you have to push all the way down and then you're kind of waiting until it gets back. So you guys are probably Ford drivers thinking, look at this noob, 
well guys I don't drive manuals much so it's that's what's going on here but other than that I'll be honest I love the drive of the manual more of the Mustang compared to the GT in this one both I had two GTs right yeah. I test drove this um, this is the first one I test drove with the manual I test drove the automatic obviously the automatic is safer but I do feel like I'm in control of this car way more than I would in the automatic yeah you're you are driving the car not right. the car is driving you to it exactly so I feel a little more control which is pretty nice um, other than the fact that I keep on having that dang shifting issue so. <laughs> it's okay it only takes like six months to yeah get perfect so, and I'm over here trying to do it in two weeks so you guys are probably getting laugh out of me more than anything sorry about that I really That's what do. This video is for man. I tell you what though, you guys are watching it first. I'm not gonna lie to you, and I like I'm a pro, but I'm really enjoying this car a lot when it comes to the actual, um, the feel of it, driving in the manual mode. I really, I'm excited to do more car reviews on uh, manuals, but I also at the same time want to learn as much as possible. So it won't be happening a lot, but it will be happening. Because I kind of. By me learning how to drive manual will open up my content for you guys so we can go ahead and test drive different cars. So if I'm ever exposed to a manual car, I can't say, oh, you know, I'm afraid to drive it. You know, I want to be confident. We talked about fuel economy, but I never actually gave any numbers. So okay. um, I believe this car is rated for, I think they specified like 1625 city versus highway. Uh, I'm getting probably about... 14 and a half to 15 and 24 on the the uh, as far as everything goes yeah so it's it's close but it does guzzle gas yeah you know I especially agree. when you compare it to cars that get 60 or plus i don't know what it is i wasn't sure but as of late my challenger has been getting 15 miles to the gallon which is relatively low because it normally gets around 16 which yeah. is odd but either way i wasn't sure if it was the heat or something going on it's just weird how I've recently just started dropping a lot more. I don't know. I've, I've discussed and pretty much I've discussed in my other videos about the Mustang. What I really enjoy is the actual dials, the um, speed, speedometers here. How deep in they are, it's just you and the speedometer. Nobody else sees it. And that's totally cool with me. What's the top speed you've gotten in this car? Uh, or would you just rather not? That. Is that what you're, so you'd rather not say that on camera. Yes. Sorry, guys. I can't let you the, know. Top I'll let you know. The car goes fast. Uh, it goes fast. So it does go 100 miles an hour, according to paper. Uh, according to paper. Uh, according to paper. You the speedometer it says it can go 160. Yeah, but you've only been 75. Sure. Great. Yes. All right. See. <laughs> because he follows the law. So tell me, do you have any regrets about buying this car? Have you ever? Not really. Um, I have had some heartache because uh, you'll probably, I don't know if you notice it during the walk around, yeah. but there are a couple dings on the side of the car and that really hurts when you, you know, just purchase a $41,000 car. Agreed. And Agreed. like a that. month in, someone hits it with a door. But as far as the car itself goes, not really. Um, there were some, I guess, some issues, mostly because I was a new manual driver. So I, I had thought that um, because of the, the little bit of slack in the drivetrain and experiencing that the whole Mustang kick that I was doing something wrong or something was wrong with the car. So that was pretty good. You have no idea how much I prayed there. <laughs> that was the fastest prayer I've ever had in my life. You guys witnessed it in my head like seven scriptures just went through my head. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're back in the car after lunch, and now we're going to go over quickly what this car is like. There's nothing really different from what we've seen before. Um, it is an everyday car for my buddy Dan, so keep in mind that it's not showroom quality, but it's pretty close. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, so just like the other Mustang, it had a uh, chrome ax, the chrome, that chrome, but kind of like a metal insert pretty much. The one that, oh, I believe the EcoBoost one was that metal as well i forgot what the metal this one is this one's obviously got the apple carplay or i'm sorry it's android what, auto this is android auto 
Now, if you have an Apple phone, it will turn into, right, CarPlay, Apple CarPlay? Yeah, for this model, they didn't have the um, adapter that you need for a CarPlay to work. Okay. So that, you can you can buy that and install it separately, but that is an additional charge. All right, so you guys hear that? Phone. For the 2015, that's how it is. Obviously, with the new ones, you can just plug and play and go on your way there. So realistically, guys, the only difference between the other Mustang that I test drove, which was the EcoBoost, and actually it's compared to the 15 model that I test drove. I think it was a 16, if I'm correct. But either way, the difference between that model and this one is just the transmission. You know, one was manual, what one was automatic. So the drive is different, obviously. Uh, I do enjoy this one a little bit more just because of the fact that it's a manual or something different that I don't normally get to drive. Um, I do want to get over that fear, be a little more comfortable. Every car is different, as we've learned. Uh, other than that, this car is still a great car to drive in. I'm going to have my buddy Dan go ahead and punch it. Once we get into an open road, right now we're at the gas station, a.k.a. the watering hole for all V8s. And um, we're going to see how that goes. But other than that, interior-wise, we're about the same. Nothing different. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. All right, guys, going to wrap this video up. Normally, I would give a, some type of review, wrap it all up, and do something nice and pretty. But like I said before, there's nothing really much different about this car than the other. Um, I will say, though, if you do know how to drive a manual versus automatic, it's all a preference. Uh, I believe the automatics are just as good as the manual. If you're the best manual driver in the world, you could probably get the same amount of time out of a automatic nowadays. But other than that, I still think it's a great car. It's really fun to drive. It's something different that I've never um, driven. Um, it's compared to a Subaru versus this one, now you're like saying, well, wait a minute, that's like 100 horsepower difference. No, what I mean is the reason why I like this compared to the, the difference between this and the Subaru is the clutch. I noticed when I push in the clutch of the challenge, of the Mustang, I have to, like I said, I push it all the way in like a trombone versus the Subaru, it's just, you know, a little tap and you're on your way. So it's very forgiving, the Subaru. This one, not so much. And you feel, I mean, it bucks you around. So as you guys saw, you probably enjoyed the laugh. And please don't uns unsubscribe because I look like a fool in a, in a manual. It's all about learning, right? All right, we're about to take off in a second. We're at a light. Does this thing got wheel spin to it when you go? Yeah, depends on how hard you go, but I don't really want to go too fast in this neighborhood. Yeah. cops in here so. yes we're in a that was a good 20 miles an hour Woo! good pull that was a good pull i felt it <laughs> no it wasn't i'll tell you what i was terrified for a second there just like it hunkered me down in my seat not like the the automatic i guess that's something you don't get from your your regular automatics again i've i've brought this up before I'm not gonna show a video of the back seat unnecessary. I've talked about it a million times. I just wish Mustang would just say it's a two-seater car. I know, man, insurance would go up. I know, I know, I know. But it's just like, come on, let, let's not sugarcoat it. It is what it is. It's not a back seat. Just call it a shelf. Two doors it's and a back back shelf. It's a two-seater with the shelf for the back. <laughs> for your book bag. Or laptop. Or a laptop, whatever. Yeah. For the people who can actually afford this car. Yeah, and then on top of that, yeah, I think people who are buying this car, well, that's not true. That's a, that's a big statement because I say somebody who's buying this car can afford the insurance. Not true because of the fact that it could be used. back by the way so like i said buy this car like i told you in previous videos just buy this car for what it is it's a two-door two-seater car really don't mind the back seat and if you can enjoy your leg room i mean it's pretty you know spacious back here i mean up front and totally recommended oh it caught me off guard there <laughs> i had to quickly swoop over the camera just to get the reaction because i was like oh shit <laughs> 
Oh, I'm good. <laughs> Let's that do it again. <laughs> I was about to show you guys my foot, my foot space here. And then the moment that he started punching it right in between, I had to quickly go from that to this. That was a lot going on. I was trying to, yeah, I okay, now, you can show now I can space. show the foot space. But I went, I quickly grabbed the floor with my feet. I was like, oh hell, we're going fast. And I'm not claiming to be any good at, you know, the, yeah, the whole he's, fast shifting thing. Yeah, I've never been trained on any of that. He's being humble. He's a, he's a self learner. So that's how I am right now. So I thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, like, subscribe, smash that like button, smash that <coughs> subscribe button. We're about to get going. Also, this weekend at Gainesville Raceway, uh, which is the 30th, we, actually not 30th, 29th on Friday. Friday night, we're going to Gainesville to race the Challenger, bring out your cars. It's only 25 bucks. I think it's 10 bucks for viewers if you want to bring your family. So come have fun. Uh, FYI, if your car runs faster than a 13.9, you have to bring a helmet. So that's that. So we'll be doing an unboxing of my own helmet very soon. And what you can do to buy a nice affordable helmet if you do not have $400, $500 for a helmet, follow that video. And that video will be in the description. I thank you guys so much. Be blessed. Drive safe. I'll see you. Peace.